And now, a brief word from our sponsor. I am about to start the biggest war of this century, and I'm not going to fire a single shot. Well, if you think that got their undies in a while, you just wait. What did the president know, and when did he know it? Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Wants to We want to raise awareness, obviously, and that's what this movie does. We also want to protect and save innocent children from slavery. And it's the people who watch this movie and the actions they take that can accomplish that. Goal. So our hope is that this lights a match in everyone's heart and allows them to feel this problem deeply so they take serious action and join our army of love to fight for the freedom of these innocent children. Hi everybody, I'm Cheryl Chris from Movie Guide and this is Coffee and Conversation with City of Dreams. Wow, City of Dreams is such a heart-wrenching, powerful film, shedding light on the dark evil of child trafficking. Tell us about the movie. Well, so the, the film is inspired by a true story. It is about a little Mexican boy who was from Puebla, Mexico, and he has a dream to be a soccer star. He's recruited by a soccer recruiter who promises him and his family that if he goes to Los Angeles, he can play in a club team that eventually will develop him to be a professional soccer star. He uh, joins this trafficker, and uh, unfortunately, his dream of being a soccer star becomes a nightmare when that recruiter ends up be becoming a trafficker who sold him to uh, a sweatshop in downtown Los Angeles where he was held under armed guards and he and other children were, you know, put through um, things that you could only imagine. Uh, and unfortunately there's 12 million children around the world that are victims of uh, modern day slavery, just like this. Uh, the good news about this particular story is this is one of those children who had the courage to fight back. And this is a, a intense, powerful, but inspirational heroic thriller about what he does uh, to battle his captors in an effort to liberate himself and the other children who are held uh, uh, slavery. Sean, you were a producer of Sound of Freedom that focused on child sex trafficking and now City of Dreams. What drew you to this movie? Well, you know, in both cases, the, the mission is the driver uh, to raise awareness about these unthinkable problems that are happening, not only abroad, which Sound of Freedom highlighted well, uh, but also right here in our backyard, which is what City of Dreams shows um, and what happened to this boy after he was sold into slavery into downtown LA. And, you know, I think Mo, the director, who both wrote and directed the film, did a masterful job, you know, making this wildly entertaining. Um, it is the definition of edge of your sheet, um, as, as you know, because you saw the movie. And, um, but more importantly, it's got the power to change and save lives. You know, with Sound of Freedom, we know of tens of thousands of children that were liberated as a result of different people seeing the movie and taking different actions. Uh, we know of 20 laws that were created that are designed to protect children. So that's our hope, you know, is to create a movie, yes, that entertains, but more so, you know, mobilizes millions of people to rise up and fight back for the freedom of these kids. The child actor Ari, who stars as Jesus' performance, is award-winning quality. I mean, he's just amazing. And I heard he's a newcomer. Tell us a little bit about him and how he doesn't talk much in the film. Yeah, well, you know, Mo, who directed the film, uh, had a long list of very talented, well-known actors who, who uh, you know, um, wanted to play the role. But he couldn't find somebody who had that authentic um, voice. And so he went to Puebla, Mexico, and he found Ari. Ari had never acted in a feature film before. And so this is his debut. And according to Michael Phillips, who's an Oscar-winning producer, and a number of other iconic leaders like Sylvester Stallone, uh, uh, Luis Mandoki, who is an award-winning Mexican director, you know, they're all just blown away by his performance because you just can't teach that. Now, I will say, however, though, 
um, most directing, you know, uh, is also Oscar caliber because he was able to give Ari the right direction in his first movie um, to shine so bright. And it doesn't hurt that, you know, he's the hero in the film. You know, he's, he's a kid who was willing to risk it all, uh, including his own life, to fight back against these monsters, uh, to free himself and, and the other children. And because of his actions, you know, um, everyone around him benefited. And hopefully the people that will see this will, will be inspired by his courage and join the fight and do what they can do, um, you know, to fight against this horrific reality. It's hard to comprehend that this is going on in our own country. For someone who might not believe that, what would you say to them? Well, you know, I guess just read the papers. Uh, just, I was with um, the Miami police chief last night and the border patrol for uh, Miami International Airport. They arrested somebody yesterday. Uh, in Atlanta, three people were arrested yesterday. Uh, it's just everywhere. A good friend of mine who's a lead anchor of the number one news entertainment show in the Spanish market in America, her best friend, had her daughter kidnapped at the Super Bowl, you know, and unfortunately, four years later, had to identify her uh, because she and her captor got into a car accident and she passed away. It is unfortunately all too real. And, and you know, for families, they need to be aware. And, and you know, fortunately, this is a movie that your kids and, and their friends would want to watch because it is wildly entertaining and thrilling, but it's also something they need to watch so they can be aware of, you know, what could happen if they trust the wrong person. This movie was also inspired by a father that was actually um, in child trafficked. Can you talk about that? Yes. So the, the director, Mohit uh, Ramshandani, we call him Mo, his father was a child slave in India at the age of seven years old. And so Mo came to L.A. over 20 years ago with a passion to tell this story and others. Uh, he produced a number of films, but this is his directorial debut. His mother on her deathbed, informed him of life insurance policy she had and encouraged him to use it, you know, to, to tell the story. And here we are six years after he he uh, began developing the script, coming out this Friday on Labor Day weekend. And it's, it's unbelievable, really, because uh, the movies not only, you know, received a perfect 100% score from the critics, but it's garnered an enormous amount of support from world leaders and celebrities like Sylvester Stallone, uh, Tony Robbins, Louise Fonsi, Prince Royce, um, Kathy Lee Gifford. You know, the list goes on of, of leaders who have uh, joined the fight, you know, and, and are using their gifts to help raise awareness about this issue. For example, Linda Perry, the Hall of Fame um, singer songwriter, she wrote a song about the movie just a few days after watching it. And Luis Fonsi, who sang Despacito, which is the most streamed song in history, the last I checked, uh, he sang the song. And so it's just beautiful to see how, you know, these extraordinarily talented people have circled around this movie and its mission, um, not only to, to entertain, which it does in spades, you know, but to impact people for the better. I think one question that some people have is why don't these kids just leave? And I think Ari's performance helps show that sometimes they're in shock and can't even speak. And it shows that so well in the movie. Can you talk about that? Yes. I mean, well, unfortunately, when children face this level of trauma and abuse, uh, it is a common side effect where they, they can't speak uh, because they're in shock. And so part of the methods that these trafficking cartels use is to scare uh everyone uh, about everything uh, so that they don't even try to escape. And that's why, as you can see in the movie, when when our lead actor does try to escape, um, they show him and everyone else what will happen to anybody who tried that again. So most people don't have the courage to try again and again. And this character, who's inspired by a, a, a real hero, um, never gave up and persevered and didn't allow fear, you know, to steal his faith in himself and what, what, what he had to do to free himself and these other children. So it was very, very powerful. And as you know, in the movie, you know, his mother gives up her life so that he can live. And so I think that that inspires him 
you know, to be willing to risk it all, you know, not only to save himself, but to save others. City of Dreams is already getting rave reviews. How do you see the role of filmmakers evolving and changing in the fight against global crises like human trafficking? Well, you know, it's it's our hope that filmmakers and studios and distributors will invest more in movies that matter, you know, and that move people in a better direction because it's a, it's a huge responsibility. You know, what we see, what we hear, what we experience, especially in cinema, where people are, you know, 10 times their normal size, we give movie makers the permission to come into, you know, our mind, which is the genesis of our thoughts and our feelings and our actions. So it's an awesome responsibility and we don't take it lightly and we try to always make movies that move people, first and foremost, in the right direction to hopefully make the world a better place. And that's why we made Bella you know, which is an inspirational true story about sacrificial love and redemption. Uh, that's why we made Little Boy and why we made uh, Cabrini, which is an incredibly powerful film about the most, you know, powerful Italian woman ever uh, and came to America in 1890 with nothing. And um, she ended up building a bigger empire than Carnegie and Rockefeller combined. Not for money, but to, to love and serve God's forgotten children who were left for dead on the streets she built a network of orphanages and hospitals and uh, school systems that span the globe. And so that's a story that deserves to be told. And Son of Freedom, you know, where a hero risks his life to save the lives of girls. And in this case, where the victim who was kidnapped and sold into slavery had the courage to fight back. These are the kinds of stories that we need. Uh, they're the kinds of stories that inspired me as a child. You know, when I saw Rudy, I wanted to give my best. You know, when I saw Schindler's List, I realized I wanted to live a life of consequence. And so it's, we hope that not only audiences are moved by these movies, but other movie makers are moved to make movies that can not only entertain, but hopefully have a positive eternal impact on the audiences that watch them. This movie has the power to save lives. What would you say your prayer is for City of Dreams? And what action would you want audiences to take? Well, for us, our Oscar um, is eight or nine years old. He's sitting in a corner right now begging God to please help him and rescue him. And so that's our Oscar. And we also hope to get a Maria and uh, a Isabella and a Juan and a Paco. And I only use these Spanish names because Latino children are the biggest victims of child trafficking, uh, but also a, a Mary and a John you know, a Matthew and a Mike. And so they are what we want to accomplish. We want to raise awareness, obviously, and that's what this movie does. We also want to protect and save innocent children from slavery. And it's the people who watch this movie and the actions they take that can accomplish that goal. So our hope is that this lights a match in everyone's heart and allows them to feel this problem deeply so that they take serious action and join our army of love to fight for the freedom of these innocent children who really can't fight, you know, at this stage themselves. Although the character in our film, you can't tell him that because he certainly fought back. But if you want to join the fight, visit cityofdreamsmovie.com. Uh, on there, literally it says join the fight. And when you click it, uh, there is a battle plan, 10 things that you can do to help raise awareness and and and, and, and to help us you know, have a positive impact through this film. There's also a page uh, with a number of resources for you to protect your children and your family, but also other children that may not have the protection that, that you have. And so anything you can do is wildly appreciated. Again, it's cityofdreamsmovie.com. Wonderful. Is there anything else you'd like to add, Sean? No, I'm just very grateful for Movie Guide, actually. Uh, Ted Bear and the whole family have been... Uh, shining a bright light on beautiful movies, including our first movie, Bella. And I'm just so grateful that Movie Guide exists and continues to encourage filmmakers like us to make movies that can move the world in, into a better place. If you enjoy videos that follow your values like ours and you want to help us continue, uh, go to movieguide.org slash donate because we're actually a nonprofit. You may not know that, but we're working in Hollywood every day to help 
families have more choices that follows their values. And also subscribe right now.